I grew up in the world of metal and punk, in which I still do love. I do feel the need to finally see what the rest of the world has to offer. My name is Aaron, and I grew up as a metalhead. Well, 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 welcome back, everybody. Like I said, uh, I plan on coming back to Infinite, so... Uh, today we're doing bad live. Uh, oddly enough, I guess I never did this on, so let's, uh, let's hop into it and check it out. Okay, no, this is legit. This is something that I love about Infinite. <sighs> Infinite is so good, because one thing that I think that they really, really like to do is that they always have a, like, a really pretty, like, string or almost, like, classical part to them that they like to kind of put into their music. And then the other thing that I really like about that is because then, on top of it, they kind of put in... I would say not very common used samples in their music that just creates kind of like this really nice mix. Um, in the very beginning, right over here, if I let's see if I nailed this. Um, <laughs> kind of. 
Like, first and foremost, I did want to talk about this anyway. Um, is this... The, first off, the chorus is very, very catchy. But uh, these the samples used, like, a little different than what you would normally hear most people use. It's To me, that's kind of more stuff that you hear from independent artists. And I like that because it's kind of a bit of a risk. Because you could have gone with some really more, I think well used and more understood samples but you know kind of risky so like right here right um like in Don Wu's part right here you can actually hear strings come in at the top of the at the top of the mix and it's super cool there's a piano and then like right before we get to the dance break right there you actually hear a phrase of like do 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 that goes down into the dance break Oh. Oh. And then even like right here, you get trap beat, right? But then you get vi you get strings playing right here. But into the back of the mix on this one. In the piano, and then you get this building. And this is why sometimes mixing is so important because, like, it starts off way in the back, and then you can kind of hear it build and start making its way into the song. Ah, uh, it's so good. And like, I don't know. It's just this nice mix of like classic EDM, but like with un like uncommon samples. I don't know. I just really think that they really, really nail it. Plus, I think honestly, vocally speaking, they have some of the cooler vocals out there. I really do. I think that they do a lot of their stuff just really, really nice. I, you know, go, going back and listening to Infinite, there's a lot of... Uh, music that they did that I feel like is very is kind of risky if I if I do say so because like I feel like that you know from anything that I've heard both new and old like they they kind of made some really really interesting music that seems to be very very different and again in a in an industry like this that could be very 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 risky but you know they did it they nailed it they're pretty legendary so it works out right <laughs> it's it all goes back to the fact that risk and reward sometimes go hand in hand <laughs> but anyway let me know what y'all think about this song i think the song is sick so yeah anyway we'll see you for the next one <laughs>